studying abroad has given me more enlightenment, improved my network. Yes, and uh, it has opened my mind to so many opportunities that if I have not traveled, I will not see. Um, build my connection and network, and that is the benefit of me coming abroad. And this is my one year, six months, almost one year, six months, thereabout. And I would like to share my story a little bit about studying abroad, studying overseas, within outside the African continent. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Solo by the Please do subscribe to the channel. Smash the uh, like button. Smash it, please, so that we promote this channel. And also share the video. Comment below. Give us thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, once again, I welcome you back. Uh, this today's uh, episode is all about my experience. It has been a challenge. Uh, studying abroad because I'm not on scholarship, I'm on self-financing, no money from anybody at home and it's a great thing for me, yes, it's built me psychologically, it built my brain, I need to think and think for myself uh, because there's no option. My journey started far away uh, 2019 and I got my admission to come and study in Cyprus. Uh, ever since I've come to Cyprus, it has been challenging. One after the other, going to school, uh, doing so many things. Uh, one thing I enjoy is the serene environment of uh, school and how they take their lectures, even during uh, the pandemic. Lectures are still on. Oh, I'm presently studying my master degree in tourism and hotel management. In my undergraduate, I did uh, transport technology, somehow related, and uh, that was in Ladoka Kekola University of Technology in Ogumosho, Nigeria. But now I'm in North Cyprus, uh, in Near East University, one of the university. Uh, in Cyprus here yeah. and almost done with my coursework but very very challenging and I will not want to do this again I will not want to study on self-financing except on scholarship even if I want to go for my PhD degree uh, PhD sorry I will not want to study on self-financing and I'm afraid if I can get scholarship which will have been a better thing for me. Though my outcome or my result is very, very okay. And I appreciate that. But way back, very, very challenging. Yes, uh, why I did this is coming abroad, you need to develop yourself psychologically. It is not an easy task. It takes a brave mind. It takes dedication. And it takes hard work because the notion we have as Africans or uh, people outside uh, our certain environment in Africa, probably in Asia and other places, that we when we come abroad we have everything at our disposal. I will not dispute that, but that notion is not hundred percent correct. I have the same notion when I was back at home in Nigeria, but when I came, I see that things are not that rosy. You have to work out to earn that money. And I will employ everybody that I, I want to travel abroad. One thing you need to, to do is, when you get your admission and research your school very well, research well the place you are going to. Because one the, the major challenge that people are facing in Cyprus is one the language. You know, it's not an English speaking country and you have to learn it. But what helped me was that anywhere I want to go to, I learned the language beforehand. And though when I got my admission, I got my admission maybe a month, 
to me traveling down here. Though I've been processing some other places like Hungary, like China, like US, like Canada, like UK. But those places are quite expensive. Uh, UK very expensive. Canada very expensive. Uh, US very expensive to study. China was like delaying my admission. Then I got this. And I said, let me move. Let me use this. And I, <clears throat> since then, I packed my bags, packed my document, and said, Ma, I'm moving. And I landed here. That was a long story. Ah, oh, it is not easy. It is not easy. Very, very challenging, but it takes a brave mind. One thing I want to advise people that want to come, or you want to travel to any country, or study, not visiting, not on a tourist-based visa, or not on business-based visa, but studying. Because when you come abroad and study, you will be staying back for at least one year. <clears throat> one year. Please, do your research very well. People have been doing so many mistakes of believing on the so-called agent they will paint everything they are going to paint everything that man life is so rosy there you have please research very very well i'm i'm expansionating on this because it will be done on you when you travel down even when you are going to america when you are going to canada when you are going to the sweet sweet so-called countries that we, we are hoping to travel to you have to research very well because hmm, when you get that it's done on you that wow this country it's not an easy thing as they say but there are opportunities there and the opportunities what people are getting as benefit um me coming to cyprus uh, as i said earlier again i've gained so many benefits been working and working tirelessly so that I can survive and I can pay my tuition fee, pay my bills. Because way back at home, we pay bills, especially the house rent, one year straight down. But yeah, you pay every month and it doesn't consign everybody. The welfare is on your neck. No, it's on your neck. You have to survive on your own. And that, the reason why I said that we don't want to study on self-financing again is the challenge. The challenge and the impact on your study because if you are not the hard-working type and if you are not the planning type, it will affect your study. For me, I go to work around 6 o'clock in the morning and come back by five in the evening. Sometimes we extend it, maybe six, seven in the evening. Calculate it then. I will have to go to school some days and I will have to do my assignment, do so many things. It has been a horror, full adventure. But I thank God for giving me the ability to pass through this. It is challenging. But one thing I really for people to do is if you want to travel abroad then try get try to apply for scholarship so that you it will be easy for you or when you have sponsors then every life will be rosy even if you are working you'll be working on choice you may not want to go to work but when you work or when you go on self-financing it will be tasking because you have bills to pay, you have everything to pay and you have to work hard to earn that money you have to work hard to earn that money hard, I said hard to earn that money traveling abroad is not that rosy like that as people say so I thank God I finished my coursework I'm planning to write my thesis then subsequent uh, semester when I finish my thesis I've been planning to travel for my PhD, to continue with my PhD. 